Hello everyone, welcome to Master to Teach Step by Step Guide. In this video, you will learn how to create chatbot using Amazon Lex in AWS, how to publish it and create an allies. Finally, you will learn to integrate with Facebook Messenger. I will try my best to explain step by step. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to build a coffee bot using AWS, a transactional and interactive chatbot that can help you to get your favorite coffee. For this chatbot demo, we will be using an AWS service called Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex is a service that lets user quickly and easily create conversational chatbot. Let's start. Create chatbot using Amazon Lex in AWS. Open the AWS console page. Head to Amazon Lex service or search for the Lex. Here it comes. Click and open it. Amazon Lex is a service for building conversational interfaces using voice and text. With Lex, the same deep learning engine that powers Alexa is now available to any developer. Enabling you to bring sophisticated natural language chatbot to your new and existing application. Create your bot. You can see the sample bot which is already made to go. We are making our custom bot. So, Select custom board. Name your board. I am naming as a Chia Chautari. Language is default English. Here we can select the output voice as well. Like Sally, Jonah. You can sample out a different voice. Okay, I am going to pick with Sally. Set the session timeout. Let's set 5 minutes for now. Amazon's other feature is sentiment analysis which will analyze the text or speech easily like a positive, negative, natural, which is done by Comprehend service. We are not going through in this tutorial. Another I am role is automatically created on your behalf. Another Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. We are not making this board for the children. Tag not compulsory for now. Let's create it. Here you can see the Chia Jautari board environment where the board will be built. Here is editor, settings, channels, and monitoring. Here in editor, we will build the bot as per our requirement and test the chatbot. Let's create a new intent. Give a name, coffee item intent. Now we need to fix the sample utterance like, what time is it now? I would like to book a flight. I have already prepared a few utterance. Let's me copy and paste one by one. You can prepare as per your requirements. Can I get a coffee item? This coffee item is a slot name or simply know it as a variable for now. We will set the values on it like the latte, americano. Let's add another as well. I would like a coffee size. May I have a coffee type? Can I get a coffee temperature? Let me get a coffee size. Give me a coffee type. You can set 7 to 10 sample utterance. Next, lambda initialization. We can call lambda function as well if we need to process like saving data in database. For now, we are not going through it. Before going to the slot, let's see the confirmation prompt. We can set the confirmation message like, You would like me to order coffee size, coffee type. And if the answer is negative, mean no, then again we can set another question like, What can I help you with? Fulfillment, return parameter to the client. Here is one more thing to do that is error handling. If there is an error, what message should be prompt like, sorry, but I didn't understand that. Would you try again, please? We can set the maximum numbers of retries. Let's set two for now and save it. Let's save the intent as well. Now let's move to the slot. Slot, here is input data required to fulfill the intent. We are going to create an environment where the different bases on the different slot types may be like a coffee type. We can include the names of the values like coffee, latte, cappuccino, that all those naming conventions for slot type comes into play here. We are going to set some values for the chatbot. Click on the slot type plus sign. Create a slot type, slot type name, coffee type. 
Now we can insert the values here. Latte, mocha, cappuccino, coffee, chai, espresso, smoothie. Add the values as per your requirements. Let's add another slot type coffee size. Values small, large, medium, save it. One more for coffee temperature. Coffee temp. Ice, hot, save it as well. Now, now go ahead to save the intent. It may take some time to populate the slot type here. In name, place the slot name, which we specify as a variable above. Select the slot type. In prompt, what kinds of coffee would you like? For example, latte, mocha. etc. Make sure to check the required checkbox. Let's add another slot as well. Coffee size. Select slot type. And in the prompt message, like what size would you like? Small, medium, large. Click require as well. Another for temperature. Copy temp. Select slot type. Would you like ice or hot? Okay, so over we have made already to build the boat. Before that, let's save it. Yeah, one more thing. We have to set the final message as a response as well. Like, thank you for other coffee size, coffee type. Save it again. Click build to build the board. Okay, Chai Chautari bolt built successfully. Let's test it in the test board. Give me a latte. Okay, it's asking me what size. Okay, large. Getting information. Let's change my mind. Make it small. Getting confirmation. You would like me to order small latte. Is that right? Yes. Final message. Good. It's working fine. Moving forward. Next step is publishing a portion and create an allies. Navigate to publish button and click it to publish. A pop-up appear. Create an allies for versioning. Beta version for now. Tax not compulsory. Publish. Your bot is published. You can now connect to your mobile apps or continue to chatbot deployment. Let's move forward to integrate this bot with Facebook Messenger. Navigate to Channels tab. In the Facebook menu, after filling these forms, we will get a callback URL which is used with Facebook. Let's go step by step. Give a channel name, master to teach board. Channel description, describe in a few words, step by step guide. KMS key, AWS slash clicks, ok. In allies, choose from the drop down, we have only one for now, beta. Another one is verify token. Give a unique token that will be used on Facebook later on. M2T token. Now for the page access token and app secret key, 
we have to create a new API in the Facebook development account. Open the Facebook developer page in new tab. If you have already an account, use it. Otherwise, you can create a new account as well. Click getting started. Register and verify. After successfully verification, in my app section, navigate to add a new app. Create a new app. Give a display name. Master to teach board. Contact email. Provide email. Master to teach at the rate gmail.com. Verify that you are not a robot. The next thing that you are going to do is on product setup. Navigate to the messenger and click get started. In the messenger platform, scroll down. In the token generation section, select your Facebook page. I am going with master to teach. Grant permission for Facebook. Then you will get a page access token. Copy the token code and go to Amazon Lex channel and paste it in page access token text box. Again, go to setting menu of Facebook developer account. In basic, here you can see the app secret key. Click in the show it, which you can copy and paste it in the app secret key text box. Now, we can activate the channel, which will generate the in point URL. Here it goes. Copy the in point URL, open the setting page of the new app. Just below the page, there is a webhook section. Click Setup Webhooks. Paste the endpoint URL in callback URL and in verify token, write the same token name specify in Lex channel M2T token. Verify and save it. Now, the last step to do is you have to select a page to subscribe to your webhooks to the page events. Select the page and subscribe to it. Now let's open the Facebook page and test the board. May I have a latte? Okay, here it is. In this way, you can use Amazon Lex to set up your custom chat box, publish and also integrate with Facebook Messenger. I hope you learned from this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out for more in IT tutorial and guide on website master2teach.com. And we will see you again soon. Bye.